So, so Mike and Lisa, and, and Barbara, now at least you got to see the end result of what we saw starting the other day, remember? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it took them two days since then. This isn't the same giraffe, I'm assuming. No, I would hope not. <laughs> <laughs> but you never know, that giraffe was rather silly the other day. Yeah. Yeah. No, what will happen is after they gorge, they normally go and lie down for, for a day or so, just to sort of process it in. But you can see how those bellies are already hanging. You can yeah. see how full that young male is. How long can they go without eating? Uh, they should eat every two to three days, but sometimes they'll make a week. Yeah. Sometimes they'll also just catch an impala and try and share an impala between 12 of them. It doesn't work very well, because it's just not enough meat. This is the type of kills that you want, that they want. I mean, do they ever starve to death? Uh, sometimes if there's insufficient food and there's too many lions. But that's just wiping out the weakest gene pool. That's a black backed jackal at the back there. Jackal's already arrived on the scene. So he would eat this, but he's obviously not going to. He's obviously not going to be brave or silly enough to come in here. What he does now is he'll wander around pretending he hasn't seen them. Right. <laughs> pretending he has no interest whatsoever. And then as soon as the lion's going to lie off in the bush to sleep, and that, then he'll quickly dash in here, grab a little piece for There's himself. Two, yes, yeah. Yeah, they're over there. Did, did They're amazing cats, eh? Yeah. Well, the other lines are lying over there. Here come the jackal again in the background. <laughs> 